This is impulse and momentum. Check your understanding. Question number seventeen from the book Pathfinder. So let us read the question and see how do we solve it. So there is a ball of mass m. It is dropped from height h equal to nine, and after a time interval, another ball of mass m by two is dropped from the same place. If all the collisions are perfectly elastic, what maximum height can one of the balls rise? So that is what we have to find out. So this is a diagram at t equal to zero. First ball is dropped from certain height. This is At t equal to t naught, let us say after t naught time, second ball is also dropped, and first ball is here. Then just before colliding, now this is m by two and this is m. Now the thing which you have to understand is uh, both will have same speed. You can a number of ways you can conclude that it's very easy. You can just see the energy in terms of energy, do energy conservation. So the difference in kinetic potential energy is same. So that is why kinetic energy gain will also be same only. And otherwise, you can also use v square equal to u square plus two s because after colliding with the ground, the speed will not change. Collisions are elastic. So here, the speed is both will have same speed. M by two is has u. This also has u. Let us say this height is h one. At h one, collision happens. So what I have to do now? I have to calculate velocities after collision. So to calculate velocity after collision, uh, I am going to use these two formulas. these formulas you can very easily derive also these formulas will come from one momentum equation and one coefficient of restitution equation velocity of separation divided by velocity of approach so that i have uh, that derivation i am not doing you can very easily do it by yourself also but i will advise you to remember these formulas because solving for v1 and v2 in, will always be a part of the question in advance right so it, uh, if you can do this part very uh, easily and with you can save a lot of time if you do this fast so direct formula you can avoid writing two equations you can avoid a lot of mistakes also so this is v is equal to p initial momentum e m2 u2 minus e1 it's very easy to remember 1 2 2 and here 2 1 1 and here m1 plus m2 p and p right so this is m by 2 u m u so v1 is equal to initial momentum you can see m u by 2 minus m u this is initial momentum plus e m2 m2 is m U two, U two is minus U, right? Because it it is in this direction. U two minus U one, U one is positive. So I get minus five U by three. You can verify. And then V two also, I get this is the same thing. And then E M one, M one is M by two. Like and then after that U one minus U two, U one minus U two is minus. So you get U by three. Fine. So minus five U by three. That means its velocity will be inverted. Now just after colliding, this is the diagram. And now I'm going to uh, calculate the maximum height attained by M2. You can see that the velocity of M2 is more, so it's uh, it is going to get a more height because when it even when it comes here, its velocity will be u only, right? This is more than u. So this will attain max height. I'm going to calculate that now. So u square by 2g from this point plus h1. This is h1, right? And then uh, from v square equal to u square plus two s, or from energy conservation, you can calculate u will be it's a free fall velocity from here to from this point to this point, right? Uh, actually, this point. So it is free fall uh, height is h minus h one, so root two g h, right? So u square value have substituted here, and then I'm getting twenty five h by nine plus a negative term. Right? This is a negative term in h one. Now, if I want to maximize h. What we can do? This h one is the place where collision is happening. So this equation is very clearly telling us that if h one is zero, then the max height will be twenty five h by nine. If h one takes any other value which is more than zero, then height will be less than twenty five h by nine. So that is why we are taking h one as zero to maximize this. So that means if you want to get the maximum height, then collision should happen here. So just before. the ball has collided with this and just at the ground level only collision should happen then you get max height so that was my analysis thank you thanks a lot for watching please subscribe to this channel and please like this video also thanks a lot i'll see you next video